Hey, and welcome to day five. What are we on? Day five? Yeah, lose that belly fat. All right, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Pace is going up, amount of exercises is going down. Oh, is my mic even on? Okay, box, ready, go. Okay, here we go. We are going to plank. Modified plank for 15, go. And time. Okay, next exercise, overhead curl up. Be careful because our arms are going to be outstretched as opposed to stacked and in the small of our back. Arms over out, arms over our head, lifting our shoulders and our head approximately one inch off the ground. Ten times. Three, four. Make sure to not tuck your chin to your chest. Five, everything's in alignment. Squeezing your abs at the beginning and throughout the movement. Barely lifting your shoulders and your neck, or I'm sorry, your head off the ground. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Next exercise. Glute bridge. Knees pointing towards the sky and push up. Sorry, push down. Your hips lift, squeeze through the movement. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and squeeze in the top. Ten. Good. Okay, next exercise, you know this one, starfish crunch. Left hand to right ankle, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch sides. One, two, three, four. Pick up the pace, squeeze your abs. And 10, good. Okay. Okay, here we go, jump rope for 30. Good. All right, to the mat for a plank. Plank for 15 and go. Tighten your core, squeeze your glutes. Good. Uh, 
Okay, next is overhead curl up on your mat. Remember, this is the exercise that no longer has our low back supported. We're gonna have our arms overhead. Shoulders and head off the mat, approximately one inch is one rep. One leg bent, one leg outstretched to go. One, two, tighten your abs. Three, we're going for 15. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. Next exercise, glute bridge. Working low back, glutes, and overall core. Knees pointing towards the sky or ceiling. Push through the heels, lifting your hips. Before you initiate the movement, tighten your abs, core. Squeeze glutes and lift one, go into 15, two, squeeze at the top of the movement, three, push through the heels, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep a check, make sure you're squeezing, really put your heart and soul into squeezing those abs and glutes, make those muscles work, 13, 14, and we're gonna hold at the top of 15, 15, and pulse, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. All right, awesome. On our stomach, we're stretching out. <laughs> Legs right behind us, you know it, cobra pose. On our elbows. Pushing away from the ground, stretching up, stretching our abs from upper to lower abs. You feel any discomfort in your back, back off just a little bit. Hopefully you don't feel any pain. If you do, don't do this at all. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Feel free to repeat it again. After that, we're going to push back into, you know, child's pose. Arms out front, shoulders down, head down, relaxing your head and your shoulders. Try to sit your butt on your ankles. Make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. 30 seconds. Feel free to repeat that after 30 seconds. And as always, feel free to do the frog pose, separate your legs on your elbows. You can always start by coming forward a little bit. That helps to separate your knees a little. Then you can push back into that frog pose. It's a really good stretch for the hips, glutes, and low back. Focus on really relaxing into this. Relax your shoulders. Relax your head down. I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. Good. And as always, I wanna repeat that whole cycle three times, including the stretching. And we'll see you tomorrow on day six. Stay happy, stay grateful.